All right. <clears throat> This is a really quick run through of this uh, unit. I used to have one of these, and I've always wanted another one. A buddy of mine still has mine, the, or the old one. So I know it's being put to good use, but here we go. So um, let's see. Basic inputs here you've got your um, effects on and off. It's currently off. Okay. Just playing a guitar. Alright, so anyway, that's that. Um, so. So we got input, it's up pretty high. I got the output level. Then you got your input mix. You've got all, this is all effect. This is no effect all the way to the left. Um, from what I can tell, it seems like the sound is pretty isolated. Um, I know that my buddy was having some issues with the, uh, I think his other one. So feedback is of course how long it keeps going. And then these are your different stages here. You've got a, a very fast uh, flange effect, chorus, doubling, and then echo. Um, this is your delay time, this is how long, which are each, each of these modes essentially is affected by, has a certain range of time, and so these, these milliseconds and so forth. So uh, the longest setting for this is 1. Uh, 1.9 seconds. So this is your uh, modulation, so you've got your speed of modulation and your width of it. So this also can create some really awesome effects once you start combining it. And what's so nice is again, all of this is set to whatever it's set to. There's no presets and all of it's real time. So, all right, let's see what we start out with. We'll start with flange. Turn the effect on, whatever it's currently at. Okay, so feedback, it's like how strong you want the effect to be. You can probably hear it's not super distinct right now because it's extremely slow. So we can do a few things here. Change the delay time. You can kind of hear it has kind of a hollow sound to it. And if I change it, this is like a fixed because the width and the modulation are so slow, it kind of fixes it also. So, let's see that tune. Oh well. Anyway, moving on. Um, let's see here. So, um, now while in flange, we can mess with this stuff, which really is just making some really cool things happen. So check this out. So you increase the width a little bit. Now you turn up the speed a little bit. And of course, if you want to take it to extremes. Really crazy. It's just becoming un unrecognizable at that point. So let's just turn it down. Make it a little more familiar. All right. Anyway, so that's that. So. Um, another interesting thing that's really awesome is this repeat hold feature. So let's check it out. So you strum something, and it sort of locks it in, and now you can hear it's just the modulation of the uh, sample of sound that it actually has in memory. Now you can do things like change the delay time, you also with the speed. So I like that. All right, and then. Turn it back off, of course it goes away. It's no longer holding. So now let's move on to chorus. So thank you so the chorus has a little bit more of a wetter sound. But it's still very much a, a kind of flange. So again, we can change the delay time to give it an even crazier wet sound. And the width and the speed help affect this, of course. Turn it down a lot, then you... It's really almost just like a really, really tight delay. You really don't get any effect at this point, just a, almost a spring reverb sound. Right? So again, I put on hold. Okay. But it'll start going to wetter. Like... So you can see like chorus effects and stuff. All right, moving right along. Uh, doubling. So this is a much more of a distinct. Say doubling. Let's do it. And what's fun about this now is you start getting to the point now where the sounds start to actually have personality, like it's not just a really, really tight. Of 
course, everything gets crazy at that point. But yeah, you can see here, if I take the delay time even lower, what's funny is you can open and close the repeat hold to start layering different sounds together. Um, even more so in the next effect, but check it out. So, again, and the modulation stuff gets a little, starts to get a little more weird when you start dealing with, uh, again, recognizable echoes and such. So, um, and of course the feedback can go on for a long time. Moving right along to the big echo. So this is the biggest one. This is the, 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 the nicest chunk of time here. So this is the shortest amount of time you have. And of course, again, speed and width. slow down effect there so. so we'll turn that stuff that was really quite much so here we go This is the longest echo, the 1.9 1. 1, uh, 1. seconds. Interesting. I'll have to, I don't remember my, my old one, not, I don't remember doing that, so I need to look into what's going on with that. But, but as you can see now, Got the feedback on high back of the grip. Let's see, ready? And this is a the, all right. So this is kind of the killer feature. Probably should have shown you this sooner than later. But anyway, check this out. So one of the things I love about this particular uh, rack effect processor is the fact that this it remembers the actual the stuff in the memory. So let's back up for a second. Okay. So check this out. We'll take it off. Let's go ahead and flush the memory real fast. Okay, so what's cool is it remembers whatever's in memory when you boot repeat hold, but not just, you know, whatever it's at, but it remembers it when you switch to the different modes. And I've had other delay uh, pedals or, and effects that don't do this. So, all right, so check it out. So you strum out something here like this, okay? Um, go crazy with whatever you've got in sampled memory, you know, and of course layer things on top like So, it's really cool. I really uh Of course you can play along with yourself if you want to. After 
all that craziness. It's right back where it was. So, anyway, that's uh, a rundown of it in 10 minutes or so. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, there's also some stuff on the back side that I like to mess around with as far as pedals and such. But um, um, I have to get my hands on the right kind of pedals in the first place. So, alright, thanks for watching.